Howdy there folks, Susan, Luke, Outdoor Gear Review. Today is a viewer mail episode, or I should say viewers mail episode? Should I say viewer mails? <laughs> hmm. For this episode we have two pieces of viewer mail. Thank you very much folks. So who does our mail come from? All right, we have a nice package here. And our friend Russell has sent us some, Russell, some, Russell, some, Russell, some, Russell, some Russell, Russell. instant coffee that he had actually told us about before. And we could go ahead and tell you folks that this stuff is great. I'm drinking yeah. some right now, actually. We've already been into this box and it's <laughs> almost gone. Yeah. This is Max Espresso instant coffee. It has creamer and sugar in it. Um, yeah, Russell had told us about this, and this was on our Amazon wish list that I had going, because I was like, I'm going to purchase that. It's on my wish list. It's something I want to try. And then all of a sudden, this comes in the mail, which is <laughs> awesome. So, Thank you so much, Russell. Thank you so much. Uh, we both have tried it. Like Drinking some right now. It, I mean, it's it awesome. Right now. It yeah, really it's is. It's really good. I really enjoy it. I know Luke took it out on his uh, military adventure. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Luke's not that picky with his coffee, but he d it's nice to have, like, a good oh, cup, yeah. you know. Like, this is so much better than Taster's Nasty. Yeah. Or just yeah. plain old, you know, uh, funky Folgers, right? Yeah. So this stuff is awesome. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Russell, thank you very much for your generosity. I mean, it is appreciated big time for everything. For everything. So, moving on, we have this right here. And this comes from our good buddy, Kip. Kip has been very generous to Susan and I. And yes. We, we greatly appreciate it. Yes. Depending on when the military surplus adventure goes live, I mean, it may have already gone live by the time this comes out, or maybe it hasn't. Either way, Kip covered the fuel cost for that adventure. He actually sent in some money to pay for the fuel. That's incredibly nice, incredibly generous. Yeah, so thoughtful. That was really awesome. Um, the letter was great. Um, sent in a picture so we could actually see what he looks see like. See what he looks like and who yeah. he is. He emails quite a bit, so we've had quite a bit of correspondence with him, which is cool. Yeah, I've enjoyed talking with you, Kip, big time. I really do appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. By the way, I, I'm really jealous of your handwriting because it's it's really nice. It's, it's legible. It looks good. I'm the type of person who can appreciate nice handwriting because mine is so terrible. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's all good, though. <laughs> so, Kip, I know that you wrote that your wife had sat down. You guys had watched uh, an adventure with us and that she wasn't really ready to get out. But I hope that you have convinced her. And, Kristen, I hope that you will take a chance and maybe start, maybe do some car camping so that you have some little bit of luxury, but you can yeah. still get out and have a good time. Do some day hikes. Yeah. You'll, you'll quickly realize that there's nothing to be afraid of in the outdoors. And getting a little bit dirty and stinky is kind of the fun in it. It's kind of the fun. But, yeah. you know, like I said, you could do some car camping and have a little bit of... Oh, yeah. You could have your luxuries and so. Anyway, I highly encourage you to do it and I hope that you will get out there, you and Kip, and have some adventures. Yeah, make some memories, folks. Yep. So, Russell and Kip, thank you both very much for your generosity. It is greatly appreciated. Until next time, everybody, we will see you all around. Strength and honor. Bye. Cheers.